Delta State Government has approved with great fanfare the development of Asaba Waterfront City. When completed, it will be the best waterfront city stretching from Delta State and across the whole southeast of Nigeria. The design work is completed and all that remains is the actual construction. But before construction commences, they must first deal with the issue of compensation for the host communities. And that is very often a sticky problem because you must deal with different groups like those who are for the project and those who are against the project. Lucky enough in Nigeria, we do not have to deal with environmental activists who could make the realization of such a project a trouble to deal with. This is important considering that the area in question is a swampy area that provides a conducive ecosystem for the growth and survival of many animal and plant species. Nigerians do not worry so much about that for now. The whole swamp must be filled up to 3 meters and 12 meters in different parts, depending on how low it is. In this reclamation effort, the whole ecosystem must be destroyed. We will give some deeper analysis of this project and see if it is realizable. But first, let's listen to the promotional video highlighting the project by the sponsors of the new city. Immediately after, we will look at the challenges facing the realization of this modern city along the bank of the River Niger. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Please, let's go and we'll see the promotional video. What else can this be transformed into? I bet this is not the first answer that came to your mind. Welcome to a destination that will meet all your aspirations of the kind of lifestyle that you deserve. The Asaba Waterfront City, Delta State. The Asaba Waterfront City is a proposed upscale area which will be built on 351 hectares of land which is mainly swamped at present and prone to seasonal flooding. The Asaba Waterfront City Development and Management Company Limited will convert this currently uninhabitable land into a prime high-quality up-market area to be known as Asaba Waterfront City. The new area would form the foundations of a 21st century city located in the middle of Asaba. Yes, central Asaba, along the banks of River Niger. Asaba Waterfront City is for the discerning buyer or investor looking for a suitable place to realize their hopes dreams and aspirations in the form of homes, investments and businesses. This will be the largest land reclamation project in the history of Delta State. The 351 hectares of swampland will be sand filled to heights of between 3 meters and 9 meters to ensure that even the worst flooding will no longer pose a problem. Asaba Waterfront City is planned to be a vertical city where living, work and play intersect in perfect harmony. There will be a riverfront, a lakefront, regular residential plots and a central business district. This city will have everything expected of a modern city and will be driven by technology. ICT clusters within the city's design will ensure it attracts leading technology firms and minds. 
The city will have modern infrastructure such as high-quality roads with curbs, sidewalks, underground sewer network, reticulated potable water distribution, closed drainage systems, 24-7 electricity and a boat marina. Commercial, hospitality and entertainment zones leveraging strategic partnerships with individuals and interested players in key sectors like finance and hospitality will elevate the city into a strategic regional hub for commerce and tourism with strict building codes and zoning as Saba Waterfront City Development and Management Company Limited intends to create a safe and secure city comparable to a co-Atlantic city and Banana Island in Lagos, but with the serenity and panache of Panjamaria, Dubai. You may call it the Venice on the Niger. A 12-meter-high river wall topped with a promenade boardwalk will protect the city from the worst of seasonal flooding and allow an unobstructed scenic view of the River Niger for residents and tourists. It is hoped that this project will create jobs, generate badly needed IGR and alleviate the current shortage of high-quality land needed to drive and sustain Asaba's meteoric growth and development as a center for excellence in the commerce, tourism, hospitality and services sector of Delta State and the Nigerian economy. As Saba Waterfront City Development and Management Company Limited is a public-private partnership between the government of Delta State, As Saba communities and private investors. Now that you have seen the full promotional video and the attendant protest and counter protest by um, residents of the area and the owners of the territory where the city will be built, let's now take a deeper look in, into what is going to happen. And um, we will explore the project. First of all, you will agree with me that this it is a very comprehensive plan based on the 3D model which we have just watched and the wonderful and the fascinating city indeed if this is achieved by the Delta State Government and their partners because it is what is called a PPP, Public-Private Partnerships. The government cannot do it alone. Individuals must help them. So, the issues that are here that I'm looking at that might be a stumbling block to the realization of this project is first of all, they have to resolve the compensation issue with the current owners of the land and residents in the shanty accommodation that has been built around this area. As far as we know, for those people, it is their source of livelihood for farming, fishing, residents and the rest of those so this has to be resolved if not nothing can be built on the land another thing is um to find the right investors like i mentioned before this is a public private partnership so you have to bear in mind that any private person or company that wants inv to invest in this project will also have a mind to make profit. So it's not just coming, pointing out a place, and then people will come and start building skyscrapers, residential accommodations, and the rest of them. There must be a possibility of those investors making profit because it is all about profit. Let's be honest about it. And this is closely tied to sustainability of life in the city. So the question is, with the kind of structures we are seeing here, you can call it like middle income residence, where the accommodation will be expensive. You could be looking at a million or more per apartment in a year or a bungalow. So do we have people, enough people that have the capacity to pay this kind of rent in Asaba and environs. 
Do we have people who can offtake the properties, buy them, or just pay the rent? Because the ability to pay is very, very important. You don't cite a city in um, a forest and expect people to come and live there. And how would they end their pay? How would they end the money to pay the rent? How would they, uh, uh, where will they work? So these things are very important to be considered. Another thing to look at in this is um, the conspicuous absence in the industry or of an industrial estate attached to the city. Because I'm looking at the 3D presentation. I don't see areas marked out for industries. So that's going to be a very big challenge because I see there are, I mentioned the services, they mentioned financial services, they mentioned hospitality, but everybody will not just be going to restaurants and cinemas and going to concerts or whatever, or going to a bank. The money has to be earned from somewhere, from the places of work, and from the industries where production are taking place. Some people are definitely going to work in the bank and the hospitality businesses, hotels and entertainment and the rest of them. But at least some there need to be also industries that will also generate the income for people to support their stay or living in this environment to make it complete. Otherwise, you're going to have nice accommodations, but you won't have people to um hire them to rent them so you cannot just build structures without being sure that the capital or the consumers are there and they're able to afford it eventually then again the problem with this kind of cities we have seen so many of them very good designs everything taken care of but eventually it takes years before it comes into fruition and in most cases, they don't even come into fruition at all. You see them, but hear about them once, two, maybe one year, two years after, you don't hear anything again. There have been so many of those things shown. So that brings in, in, in contention the issue of government funding, because the government has to bring their own part. They have to lay the infrastructure most of the time. Do they have the means? They have already told us that they, they marked 1.1 billion for paying compensation to those who are resident there and the owners of the community right now. But after that, you need a lot more billions to do these things. So that is a very important question to make sure that this is economically viable and again that the government is able to provide their own part of the funding. However, the government of um, Delta State might not be so much, um, uh, they could afford it if they plan very properly because they are among the three top earners from the federal government oil revenue. So Delta State is comfortable at the moment. Their oil production is very high. So what they get from the federal allocation is high enough. But the government has to make proper plan to allocate a certain portion to the realization of this city. Apart from that, another problem with these governments is that there is lack of continuity. The current governor, Ifan Yokowa, will be leaving the governorship of Delta State in a few days. Two weeks, three weeks, he will be gone. Will the next governor um embrace this project will that governor fund this project will it be so important to the governor as it is to our government that must it and brought out this design and talked about the compensation and the rest of it that is still a question in nigeria because one government starts a project and the other one when they come they abandon it and again okowa should have not that I'm blaming, but this is a, a, a project he could have started two years ago, three, four, because he has been in government for eight years. You cannot start, start such a laudable project when you have a few days to go. Basically, he cannot invest any money in it. So you make a nice design. It depends on the government that will come next. 
if they want to continue what with what you have on ground or the plan you have. So that is um, a possible reason where this project may not succeed. However, um, we have to be, I mean, we have to encourage the people of Delta State. We have to rejoice with them with this laudable plan. If it can be, be achieved, it will be a wonderful addition to the growing city of Asaba, which is a very sprawling locality at the moment. So many developments have taken place in Asaba and it's becoming a very a, a, an important city in Delta State, South South, and probably in the South East, if you can run down the country in that way. And Delta State in general, and if it's realized, Nigeria will also benefit from the whole thing. Probably, if they achieve it, it could ginger Anambra State, which is on the opposite side of that river, Niger, um, across Asaba, to see if they can start sub such projects or similar projects on the Anambra side or Onesha side of the river. So that's our um, presentation on this uh, Asaba waterfront city. It's something to behold. We hope it works. We hope the government takes it serious. They find the funding. They take care of all the issues involved and realize this city. And it would be a very, very good thing for the people of Delta State. This is where we bring this video to an end. Please like it, share it, subscribe to our channel, and we will bring you more of these things in the future. See you in our next update.